And welcome to the Base Network's coverage of LIU Sharks men's D1 basketball. The Big Apple Sports and Entertainment Network is a student-started and run entertainment network, and thank you for joining us this afternoon for our fourth broadcast. My name is Dan Bauer, and with me on color, I have my boy, our president, Joe Simile. Thanks for joining me, Joe. Yeah, Dan, we're happy to be here. We got some. Uh, we got an exhibition match here up against the uh, SUNY Purchase Panthers here. Uh, it, it should be a good game. Yes, sir. We got Ryan Adams helping us behind the camera today, so that's a fun little addition we have. The yeah. Sharks are looking to snap a nine-game losing streak here in this exhibition match. Their last and only win coming in an exhibition match against the D3 College of Mount St. Vincent, which we were here for. Yep, that was fun. The Panthers have dropped their last three, including a devastating 105-109 to loss against Hunter last Tuesday. Yeah, Dan, something about that game against Hunter, which will be something to notice here. The Panthers' first 10 games, they took 20 or more three-point attempts in every single one of them. They only took 12 last game, and they still scored 105, which was their highest total this season. That is an incredibly weird note, and it just shows them that we're going to be having a lot of three balls kind of floating around today, Joe, because in that last game that uh, me and Big Body Burns did in Cooper, there was uh, LIU, when they don't get their threes in, are a drastically different team. Yeah. All right, that'll bring us to our keys of the game, and is that something you want to go over, my friend? Yes, sir. So our first key to the game is going to be to control the ball and control the pace. Both these teams, they play hard, they play fast, but they also turn the ball over quite a bit. LIU averages 18.1 turnovers per game. Purchase averages 20.7. But another thing that's interesting, Purchase averages over nine steals a game and LIU a little less than six. Now, like I said, Purchase plays fast. They average 71.9 points per game and allow 72 points per game. Now, our next stat here, or our next key here, is going to be force purchase to shoot the ball, control the paint. As we said, we, they like to pull it from three, but they only shoot 27% from three, and they only have two players, 6'6 six, six or above, the tallest being 6'7. So it'll be imperative that the Sharks protect the paint and force purchase to shoot. If, if this team is going to beat you, you want them to do it from the outside because they've struggled from, from deep. Yeah, we, we love a size advantage that doesn't happen for us very much here for the <laughs> Sharks. Um, we are a team that also loves to shoot. And uh, yeah, if they're if they're overall three point percentage is at twenty three and a half percent, then I'm I, at this point in time I'm be like bring it to us. Yep. But another thing that's interesting too, Purchase averages much more rebounds than LIU. Now, given they do play uh, a whole lot different competition than LIU does, uh, but Purchase averages forty six point six rebounds per game, whereas LIU only averages thirty three. Now, Purchase Could because they're putting up so many shots. Yeah, absolutely. But Purchase, they play with a lot of energy, man. They they really get after it, uh, especially Matthew Phillips for them, number two, uh, as well as uh, Rashid Nakima, number 15. Those two guys, they're kind of their, uh, their front court big bodies. Uh, they get after it on the boards. They are both fantastic rebounders. So it'll be interesting to see the matchup against some of our bigs here. Yeah, one of the things that I like when I do, uh, when I talk basketball with you and when I talk basketball with different people is the different things that stick out. And you have always been one where uh, turnovers is a big sign of how you think things are going. And it's something that I feel I've always needed to pay more attention to because last game you had, you noted that we had more turnovers than, what was it, like made shots or made threes? Yeah, we uh, we had uh, multiple players with more turnovers than points that game. <laughs> uh, it was, you know... Given James Madison's a fantastic Correct. team, they're they're 75th in Ren Palm. Uh, they are, you know, they're one of the better teams in the country. Um, and uh, Coach Strickland and his son, who plays for James Madison, had a really nice reunion before the game too, which was nice to see. But uh, we we really want to see uh, some more, just some some better decision making from our LAU Sharks. Now, uh, you know, James Madison has obviously said a great defensive team, but well, it'll be interesting to see how Purchase plays the Sharks here. I now, agree, because it's kind of uh, one of those they have nothing to lose kind of games. Yeah. On the flip side of that, the Sharks need a win. Yeah, It would be nice if we can get a little momentum going into the break. Uh, coming up next, our next game, a little fun note there for you, buddy. At the Barclays Center up against, the uh, Barclays up Center. against Wagner will be the uh, NEC opener. Uh, we're very excited. We will be there. We will be representing. That's uh, what I'm talking about. So that'll be great. But, yeah, so if the Sharks can get a quick win here before we start conference play, you know, I, I'm, I'm an optimist, so give me a, any any type of moral victory at this point in time. And on another positive note, we're finally healthy for the first time in a while, healthier yeah. for the first time in a while as well. Yeah, that's right, Dan. Now, 
another thing that I do want to bring up, last time the Sharks did play an exhibition match against the D3 team up against Mount St. Vincent, Mount St. Vincent opted to go for a zone a lot of the game, and LIU was able to take advantage of it. They were on fire from three that whole game, and they were able to work the ball around and get in the paint and take advantage of the mismatch. So I'm, interesting, I'm interested to see if Purchase kind of employs a similar strategy here. Now, uh, like you said, we still do have some injuries. Jay Cook is still out. Uh, we expected him to have a really big role this year, but, uh, you know, he's obviously... Uh, still in his warm-ups there, not playing today. Uh, looks like players are getting ready to line up for the National Anthem, though. All right, so let's dump into a little bit of a break, and we'll come back for the start of this game. Yep. Head coaches, first season, Rod Strickland. 
All right, Joe. So welcome back, folks. And our starting lineup was a little interesting. We're seeing a couple different faces that I'm excited about. We got Marco in the starting unit as opposed to coming and giving that little jolt off the bench. Yeah, uh, Marco's making his third start of the season here, and uh, he's earned it, man. He absolutely deserves it. He's been the Sharks' leading scorer here, uh, putting up about 17 points a game, man. And uh, he, he's he been getting after it. He's shooting 38% from three on over seven attempts per game, I man. love that. I have him in a few classes, and what I really appreciate about him is his confidence in his game because we were joking about different things, and he just said, oh, I'll get my 15. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I love seeing is uh, Andre Washington is getting his start, and so this will be our first time seeing him in person. And you said last game was his first game back? Yeah, it was his first game of the season here. And uh, interesting enough, both those two, uh, Andre Washington as well as Marco, had career highs last game. Uh, Marco with 32, Andre Washington with 19. Love it. CJ Delancey getting the start for us at center, and he won the opening tip. And with that, we have the ball down on our end of the court. CJ's posting up big. We dish it up front, up top, over to Andre. Andre over to the side to RJ Green. RJ's working his guy down in the baseline, dishes it back over to Jacob Johnson. Jacob Johnson drives the lane, goes up and in. Beautiful little finish there by Jacob Johnson. Yeah, it was a great little start for the Sharks and a nice little bucket there to get us started. And with that, Joe, if you look, we're starting automatically with a full court press. I love it, Dan. I love it, man. We are going after it. Uh, Marco there picks up a foul. <laughs> so, yeah, we start with a full court press. They break it on their first one and kind of charging down the court. Like you said, Marco runs into the ball carrier there. So it'll be his first foul first of the game and at 30 seconds in let's see what purchase wants to do here we get their inbound pass I'm working the ball around here Andre getting right up into him yes sir that's uh Mark Morgan with the ball senior wing this, this is it up shot. and D CJ gets the rebound RJ bringing up the ball court gets a quick up oh. to Jacob Johnson beautiful the lane Euro. Beautiful there we go Euro Jacob Johnson immediately there for another quick back so we're still pressing right off the bike bat here, Joe. Yeah, it's uh, definitely an interesting strategy here. Um, and uh, Perch is trying to beat it. Delancey in the middle, uh, that lob is unable to <laughs> result in anything. <laughs> yep, so Skeet has the ball up the top, dishes it back over to Morgan. Morgan dishes it over to... Beautiful finish there by James Brady. That's a senior out of Yonkers. There you go. And with that, the score is 4-2. to two. We go oh. quick down the court. Marco for three in the corner, just misses it. CJ fighting for a rebound, but not able quite to get it. No question at all that Marco was going to pop that. <laughs> yeah, I love it. James Brady again has the ball at the top. He dishes it over to number two, Matthew Phillips. Matthew Phillips drives the court, puts it up. Not yeah, good. CJ look. there with the rebound. And you know what I love to see from CJ this game that I've seen uh, just in our first two minutes here? He, he's talking a lot on defense, a lot of communication there. Uh, he's trying to be that defensive leader down low, and that's really great to see. Marco drives the lane here on an inbounds pass, puts it up. He's going to get fouled. He's going to get two free throws. Nice little shifty move there by Marco, able to pick up the foul. Marco will be going to the line, shooting two. That is the first foul on number 11, James Brady, and that'll be uh, scores four to two. We have two minutes gone here in the first half. First one is up, and it is good. Such a beautiful stroke Marco has, man. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot he has. Textbook. And with that, we're not even putting anybody there for the rebound. <laughs> and they're uh, yep. ready well, to get up and well, press. Well received there. That cuts the score at 6-2. to two. Sharks and the Panthers are inbounding the ball once again to that full court press. Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to trap in that corner there. Uh, that, that's really the goal there when you press is to try and trap in that corner. Give the guy nowhere to go um, and try and force a turnover. Jacob Johnson picking up a foul there. Another two quick fouls here for the Sharks. Nothing you want to see, and it kind of again goes with uh, the small problems that we need to keep eliminating in our games. Yep, that's right, Dan. But uh, so James Brady has the ball at the top. He dishes on the far side of the court to number five, Mark Morgan. Morgan back up top to number 22, Trey Skeet. He dishes, looks over at James Brady. James Brady's got it on the corner. Marco's guarding him tight, though. Yep. Back over to Skeet. Skeet drives the lane. Good defense by the Sharks there. Forces uh, a miss. Look. And a rebound by Marco. Ooh. Oh, Skeet coming up with the steal there. And uh, what a great name, Trey Skeet. <laughs> I know. That is good. That's uh, That's got to be on the all-name team. Tough three there from Mark Morgan. My goodness. Yeah. And uh, unfortunate little turnover there once again for the Sharks. Started by your guy, Trey Skeet. <laughs> yep. And now uh, Purchase is pushing here. Uh, they're, they're pressing up on the Sharks as the Sharks now in the front court. Yep. Good for us to slow it down a little bit. You can tell CJ what I'm liking about him so far is he wants the ball down in the, in the block there. <laughs> you can even see him yelling at all those guys there, too. <laughs> yep. Uh, 
Coach Strickland calling a the timeout there. Uh, not happy about that turnover there, Dan. No. Like you said, it was unfortunate. The fact that they were able to get a three-pointer out of it just hurts. It makes it hurt even more. Yep, score is 6-5 to five going into that first timeout. 17-15 left to play in the first half. Love the camera work. Beautiful by camera guy work Ryan. By We're going to send him a thumbs up there. Yeah. Real heads up play. Now, funny thing is Ryan can't hear us. I know. That was just like beautiful connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan's doing great up there. Uh but yeah, uh, we're uh, we're trying out a new camera here today, folks. So, Feels uh, good, buddy. Yeah, it's uh, we got a bit of a better angle for y'all to watch at home. And, so uh, much better than what Big Body did for us. <laughs> <laughs> we miss Kevin as always. We do. Kevin's enjoying his break, though. Uh, he was able to go home a little earlier than you and I. Because <laughs> we have we have job responsibilities here, Joe. Yeah, exactly. We take this seriously, like it Big Body burns. <laughs> <laughs> RJ's got it at the top, dishes it over to Jacob Johnson. Jacob gives it back to Marco, drives the lane, looks to go up tough, throws up a floater. Tough finish. And good. Love to go and see that aggression that we've talked about with Marco. Nice soft touch there by Marco, man. Marco Marco could put the ball in the hoop if nothing else, man. Yes, sir. Morgan's got the ball over the far side of the court. He dishes it over to Brady. Brady gives it back up to the top, and we got it closer over here. Brady down low. Talk about another guy who's playing aggressive, but we got Mark on him. Brady throws up a shot. Short. Nice rebound by RJ Green. Yeah, Brady. Brady's all over the place, man. Brady, uh, he he's moving. <laughs> he's everywhere on the court all at once. Marco with a three there. That Got one's it. Cash. There we go, Marco. As we talked, we love to see him shoot the ball. And with that purchase, bringing the ball up the course, the Panthers leading it with Skeet. Skeet dishes it down the middle. And a little errant pass there to Terrence Mason. That goes out of bounds for the turnover for the Panthers. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we were talking about James Brady, man. He He's kind of like their... Uh, their go-to guy on defense, right? He, he's not out there for his offense, only averages four points a game and uh, shoots 29% from the field, only 9% from three, but he averages two steals a game as well as five rebounds. He's a really high-energy guy. Jacob Ooh. Johnson brings the house down. What a heads-up pass there by Marco Malatech to feed Jacob Johnson, and he throws it down hard. Beautiful dunk there. He draws the foul as well on the hammer, so that'll be an N1. Uh, score is 13 to 5 here. <laughs> Gives a little look to that guy there, too. We have tech? Yeah, so it was a lane violation oh, wow. there. Uh, so that will negate the free throw, unfortunately. On Jacob Johnson? I believe it was on whoever uh, that was that just tried to walk out of the paint. Unique little thing there. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, we got Brady driving the lane there, and Marco picks up his second foul, so that will inevitably end to him getting checked out here shortly. Yeah. That is our third team foul, and the second, like I said, on Marco, and so we have that. The Panthers are inbounding the ball here on our side of the court. Skeet has it up the top. R.J. Green's playing tough defense on him. Yep. R.J. Green, man, he's uh, he gets up in you. You know, he, he plays a, plays a great game. Yep, we have Skeet over in the corner. He's looking to get up a shot, drives the lane, dishes it back out to Morgan. Morgan goes in hard on Andre Washington, yep. swatted by C.J. Delancey. Great defense by Andre there as well. Yes, man. it was. We have a corner three over there that goes a bit long. Rebound by R.J. Green and Sharks ball. Yeah, and uh, th this purchase team, they're playing physical on offense, man. They're really trying to get in there. Missed shot there by Green. Rebounded there by number 22, Trey Skeet, and he's pushing the ball up the court again. He's got a leg. A good sportsmanship there by Skeet, helping up R.J. Green after the contact. And uh, we have a timeout here. And at that, we got number 22, Elijah Bailey, checking in. He's been seeing some action kind of recently in these games, Joe. Yes, he has. And, uh, you know, a, a lot of folks weren't expecting Bailey to get a lot of run, but with the injuries, he's uh, he's been getting in. He's been stepping up, you know. And uh, he's um, by far the smallest guy on the team, listed at 5'11". But, Is he, uh, though? Uh, you know, it, it might be a little <laughs> generous there, but, uh, you know, he here's can play. what I'll tell you, Joe. 5'11 is such normal height. I would like, I, 5'11 is the best height a guy can be. I don't know about you. No, it, it definitely is a, a fine height, but, uh, well, you know, in terms of basketball, it's, uh, <laughs> it's maybe not the best attribute. Not, not to say that, you know, I once again find myself surrounded by tall people, including yourself. <laughs> and I just want everyone to know 5'11 is a great height for someone to have. No, absolutely. And, you know, it, height isn't everything in basketball. You know, there, there's so <laughs> many great smaller guards that play this game. Like, even our head coach, Rod Strickland. Absolutely. You know, he, well, he's not the tallest, but he had a fantastic 17-year career, man. I mean, he's Jesus. all NBA, led the league in assists. Uh, you know, and there have been plenty of, you know, 
there have been plenty very influential guards in our game that you know haven't had this stature of eye. <laughs> but not to say that I'm huge or anything, but big body also. Yeah. I, I'm really excited, and like you said, for a lot of people not to uh, think that Elijah Bailey was getting these minutes, it just shows how well he has been doing and how well they're respecting him if he's the first guy to check in off the bench for us. Yeah, absolutely. He must be putting in very hard work of practice because you know that's something that Coach Strickland values a lot is hard work, dedication, and uh, you know the good work ethic. Absolutely. As we come out of this timeout, it's 13-5 Sharks. We have 15 and a half minutes left here in this first half. And Joe, if anything that's coming out of this so far, I just think our aggression is showing itself early in this game. Yeah, that's right, Dan. We're, uh, we're getting after it on defense. We're playing hard. Uh, both teams are playing hard. And, uh, you know, we're, we're taking it inside. We're getting a lot of good looks in there. And, uh, you know, we'll take the results so far. Absolutely. We have Brady up at the top. He dishes it over to Skeet. Skeet looks for a, tar for a top shot. But he's guarded there over by RJ. Gets in the corner to Morgan. Tough defense there by Dre. Nice rotations there by Green and Bailey. And uh, we got a foul on the floor. Look at that. Jacob Johnson forcing a charge. Great call there. Yep. And a uh, great play by Jacob, as you said, man. Uh, Jacob Jacob plays hard. Jacob's willing to put his body out on the line to get those calls, man. Yeah, he's, he's got his wrist hurt the entire season so far. That, uh, that charge was on James Brady. That is his second foul, fourth, third team foul there for the Panthers. Mm. And we got, uh, we got Jacob taking the ball up here, moving the ball around. So Elijah Bailey at the top of the key, seeing what he can do. Ooh, you can tell he wanted to shoot that. Dish it over in the corner to R.J. Green. Back up top to Bailey. Bailey hesitates. Dish it over to Jacob Johnson. Jacob Johnson sends it over to Andre Washington. We got Bailey running. Going in the middle. Nice little move there by Bailey. Good kick out. Jacob loses it. Gets it back. Throws it back oh, up. Bang shot tough in. finish off the glass there. Uh, Sharks weren't looking too aggressive on that possession, man. A whole <laughs> no. lot of pump faking. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they got the book in the end. Because Marco's over there not not able to shoot right now <laughs> so when the Panthers have the ball at the top of the key in addition they're doing a couple little outside corners good, good Dre just by goes Andre in there Washington there but he gets ripped but they will call the foul there that's going to go on Brady James I believe yeah that'll be his third foul and with that he will be checked out and incoming for him is number 12 Isaac Johnson and uh, James Brady is his name apologies there I reversed it on him Oh, <laughs> whatever. All right, Elijah Bailey has the ball at the top of the key. Goes around kind of a double screen there. Dishes it over in the corner to Andre. Andre looking to get his first shot off of the game. He's got it. Beautiful looking jump shot there from the mid-range. That gets the score to 17-5 to five Sharks with 14 minutes left to go in this first half. And Joe, uh, the Sharks have a commanding lead. And they look like they're going to be in control in this game. Yeah, I mean, that's the hope. But, you know, 12 points is not a whole lot in basketball. You know, they, that's four possessions if everything goes right. But uh, Golden State Warriors style. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, the Panthers I, are kind of moving it around, having, looking to get in. You know, and they were going against Elijah Bailey's size there from number one, Terrence Mason. But it was just kind of an errant pass that was forced out of bounds. Yeah, but I believe they called a foul on Elijah Bailey there uh, on the pole. And uh, we got... Uh, Sheik Nadai checking in for CJ Delancey. Big body alert. Yep. <laughs> uh, we are, uh, you know, we, we love Sheik's game, man. He's uh, He knows how to use his body well. Really energetic. Uh, hit a little shimmy there when he checked in. Yep. Getting stretched out there. And, uh, you know, LAU sticking with the one big out there, uh, surrounded by four guards. And, uh, you know, it's, it's working well for them against this uh, purchase team. Now, really physical attempt there by... Isaac Johnson Who just checked in and uh, a shot unfortunately was unfortunately for him yeah and, uh, forced out of bounds Sharks ball yeah did you uh, did you happen to see that that shot that Julius Randle had last night like I did Knicks not it was, I was uh, watching Avatar and it was awesome <laughs> it was uh, it was like oh, either within two or sub two minutes man really close game Julius Randle just missed a bunny uh, even closer than that shot was by Nadia <laughs> but just Nadia. completely airballed it uh, Randle did good but uh, hey, the Sharks fighting hard. Andre Washington almost comes up with the steal. He is being really aggressive. Yeah. Oh, defense. And, and speaking of that, RJ, RJ Green, Green equally as aggressive. Gets the steal, dishes down the court quickly to Joe Johnson, who's just going to go up, looks, stop. Yeah, and that pass was really nice by Green, but also a great job by Johnson stopping in stride, making sure he came down with it, not just overrunning it. Beautiful pass there to Nadia. Fumbles it a little bit. Bailey's going to take that inside. Beautiful little there finish there. There we go. Elijah Bailey going into the paint, finishing hard for two. 
A really, really nice finish there by Bailey, man. And with ba that, that gets the score to 19-5 to five Sharks with 12 and a half minutes to go. Yep. Bailey is uh, immensely talented, though, Dan. He, he can really score that basketball. Uh, he does not let uh, his size affect him at all. And a nice little finish there by Isaac Johnson. So with that, we got R.J. Green being in the ball up the court. And some of the games that we've done, Joey, we've noticed that when R.J. brings it up the court, he slows it down a bit more. Yeah, he definitely likes to run some sets in the half court there. Shek Nadai sets the pick and goes down. We have R.J. Green driving hard to the rim, goes up with his left. A lot of contact there. A lot no of contact. Rebound there by number 12, Isaac Johnson. He dishes it up the court. Man, Isaac Johnson's been all over this game since he's checked in, yes, man. he has. Skeet dishes it up top to number 23, Elijah Holmes. Goes for the deep three. Can't Rebounded there by Jacob Johnson. And Elijah Bailey going to attack on the fast break. He gets it. around his defender. Uh, nice try there to yep. Shek Nadai, but that'll be stolen by Matthew Phillips, and there will be a foul in transition. A little bit of a forced pass there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, he kind of got himself into a position there where he had to make a play. Uh, Trey Booker ready to check into the game, but that'll be another timeout. Another foul. Wow, that's our sixth foul already. We're not even halfway through. Yeah, that's right, Dan. But uh, So, Dan, do you know anything about Purchase College? I don't, because I'm from the Midwest. <laughs> so, Purchase College is a, a liberal arts school in the SUNY system, which is the uh, the public school system here in New York. Uh, it was founded by uh, Governor Nelson Rockefeller. Uh, it focuses... Uh, you know, a, a lot on the arts. So an interesting thing is all seniors pursuing a bachelor in science or bachelor in art must undertake a senior project in which they devote two semesters to an in-depth original and creative study under the close supervision of a faculty member. And uh, they have a lot of great alumni. Uh, they have Eddie Falco, Zoe Kravitz, Wesley Snipes, Stanley Tucci, and my mother, Eileen Simile. Eileen! Uh, that was uh, one of her alma maters, one of many. Uh, she has, uh, she went on a little, uh, college tour in her time uh much like our man behind the camera ryan adams who uh he he, spent, he had a couple stops at pitt as well as five towns college who actually recently lost to purchase college in a basketball game uh just two weeks ago kind of a lovely little uh connecting there because uh you mentioned Edie falco being a alum and she also was in avatar that i talked <laughs> about last night wow um, yeah, the SUNY the SUNY system is very interesting to me. I like that there's so many of those colleges kind of around New York. Yeah, and there's some cool ones. Uh, for instance, my lovely girlfriend Francesca uh, goes to FIT, uh, Fashion Institute Technology. That Manhattan. is a SUNY school. That is a SUNY school. I had no idea. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a really great school. She yeah. loves it there. Uh, she does great. She uh, she secured her her 4.0 GPA for her fifth straight semester. Oh, thank goodness. Um, makes one of us, <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 makes one of us on uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in my life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she is uh, she's incredibly smart. Good, you need that to balance you out. <laughs> <laughs> but we are back here now. Uh, Eleven twenty-seven to go in this half. Panthers get to talk about Johnson being a little tough since he's checked in. He gets a little pass over there to number fifteen, Rashid Nakima goes up strong and puts it in. That brings the score to nineteen to nine. Sharks over the Panthers. And Joe, we have 11 minutes left to go here in this first half. Yeah, that's right, Dan. And uh, 19 to nine, man. Not not a whole lot of scoring so far in this one. Uh, as Jacob Johnson picks up the foul on that shot there, uh, and the foul on line. number 12, Isaac Johnson, our new favorite player for the Panthers. <laughs> but Jacob Johnson has been playing very tough, and he is driving the lane. And for the the squad we're used to, we're not really shooting many threes, but that's because we've been able to get in the paint so much. Yeah, that's right, Dan. Neither of the Panthers. Panthers have only taken four three-point attempts this game to the Sharks, too. Uh, Both by Marco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right, man. Uh, big Marco fans out here. But, uh, you know, it, it's interesting to see, you know, because the, the Panthers, they are, like we said before, they're a high-scoring team. They average 71.9 points per game. And, uh, you know, nine minutes through this, they only have nine. So, uh, you know, they're, they're on pace for uh, – what, what, what's the math on that? Like uh, You are asking the wrong non-4.0 like GPA perhaps? guy. <laughs> like, like between that 36 to 45 range they yeah, probably there we go. for. Bring their average down a little bit. Yeah. But uh, still a lot of basketball left to play. And, you know, like we said, it's not a humongous lead. You know, just uh, it's it's still a 12-point lead there. Uh, interesting little play there is uh, Trey Skeet lost the ball but got it back out. Two, uh, that was a deep three by our guy, Isaac Johnson. Isaac Johnson. That goes in. That brings the score to 21-12. Is this the start? Don't call it a comeback. 
So we got RJ up at the top again, and like we said, he was going to slow it down. We also, if you look, Joe, Elijah Bailey's ready to kind of check back in. They like they like his aggression. Yeah, Andre uh, talking aggression, speaks it over into the corner to Trey Booker. Just missed that yeah, three. Just missed. Trey Booker previously checked in for Elijah Bailey. Check Nadia. Nice mm. little hook shot. Unable to get that one to go, but Trey Booker, nice rebound. A lot of contact there. Refs letting him play through it, though. Yep. RJ has it up at the top. He dishes it over to Trey. Trey for three. three. Got just a bit long and a rebound there by our guy Johnson. Yeah, Andre Washington, quick little, quick, quick trigger on that one, man. Uh, and speaking of quick trigger, that'll be Rashid Nakima unable to get that one to go. And, uh, and a little top foul there by number one, Terrence Mason. Yeah, Nakima averages nine points, seven boards a game, and two, almost two blocks a game, man. He, he's their main big. Uh, it's interesting to see him out there. Uh, shooting from deep, but uh, he's actually shooting it well this year, 36.8% from downtown. That is pretty good, and you can see during warm-ups that's something he wanted to do. That was his. That was uh, Terrence Mason's first foul. That is the sixth team foul there, so we have both teams sitting on six fouls there, Joe. We're yep. about to see some free throws. And uh, Rashid Nakima on the die now after switching from R.J. Green, but uh, that'll be a steal there from our man Trey Skeet, pushing it in transition. And while check, and while check, oop. And they'll call travel. travel there on Elijah Holmes, sophomore from Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, went to the Urban <laughs> Assembly School. So we had, yeah, Sheck getting checked out already. So we're going to keep the small lineup that we have going. Smaller, I guess CJ came back in for him. But that was just another thing where he had the ball down low. You could tell he wanted to go up with it. But with that being said, he didn't keep control of that, and it was stolen away. Yeah, uh, Nadai's kind of had that a bit of an issue in, in his time here, just kind of getting the ball low and trying to bring it up. Uh, and, you know, it's not always on him. You know, sometimes there's a bad pass here and there. Errant layup there by RJ Green. And now the Panthers are going to look to push and transition. A uh, tough attempt there by Mike Johnson. Isaac Johnson. Johnson goes up tight, but CJ's there for the rebound. With that, we got Jacob Johnson passing the ball down there to our boy Elijah Bailey. Goes up Beautiful and in strong finish, again. Man. Elijah Bailey, he just he makes those reverse layups look so so gorgeous, man. That gets the score to 23-12 with nine minutes left to go in the first half, and the Sharks need to get a couple baskets here to get that lead back that we were kind of uh, liking. Because purchase, you can tell the Panthers are getting. Getting their legs under them a little bit more, man. Yeah, they're getting some momentum here. And, uh, you know, bringing it inside there. Uh, I believe that's our boy Johnson. Yeah, uh, just nice all over the, place. In the lane. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes in. That is uh, Isaac Johnson now has uh, five points Five points for there for the, uh, the Panthers. On our side, we got the ball. Andre Washington dishes it over to R.J. Green. R.J. Green gives it up top to Elijah Bailey. Over in the corner now, Jacob Johnson has it. He's looking to do something against his defender. Drives the lane, dishes it over to C.J. Delancey. Goes up. Oh, tries to dunk on half their team. Unable to get that <laughs> one to go, but does draw the foul, so he'll go to the line. You could tell as soon as he got that when he was going up. One of my favorite things about watching C.J. is that he has mad athleticism. Yeah, he he can jump. He, he kind of reminds me of Jericho Sims on the Knicks. Just, uh, you know, he, he's a raw athlete, you know, but he... He has incredible athleticism. He has, you know, he, he can get up. His vertical is crazy. He, he's very quick off the ground. Um, and, you know, we see that a lot on the block shots as well. He just kind of leaps into the stratosphere. He has uh, bunnies, as I would say. Yeah, just out of nowhere. <laughs> um, he, man's got hops. Yep, and he was able to make that free throw. We got the same kind of technique we're doing where none of our other guys are in the lane. CJ goes, make, misses a second one rebound there by number 15, Rashid Nakima. So CJ gets one out of two there. That gives the Shark a 10-point lead, 24-14. We have eight minutes left to go in this first half. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that'll be a Ooh. foul on CJ after Matthew Phillips tries to get one in there. It was an excellent pass over to Matthew Phillips, and I'm not, not quite sure about that little foul there, Joe. Yeah, it was, it was a little soft, but uh, I understand the call. <laughs> I agree. Contact. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Matthew no blood, no foul. Ugh. <laughs> Matthew Phillips is going to be stepping up to the line to shoot two here. Ooh, let's see if he misses one, Joe. Makes that one, Dan. Uh, you kind of jinxed that one there. Huh? No, I was just hoping we could use our laugh track. I don't know. Since you're controlling the board today, if you lose it as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, Matthew Phillips is purchases. Second leading score, and uh, <laughs> there you go, Dan. Yeah. You know how to make a guy happy. He misses yeah. the second one there, and the Sharks bring up the ball. R.J. Green has it at the top of the key, working his defender, and he dishes it over to Andre Washington. Almost loses it, but is able to take that, drive the lane, goes up hard. Misses it, but a nice rebound there by C.J. He's going to also go up hard. Not quite able to go, sadly. Number two, Matthew Phillips gets the rebound there, Joe. Yeah, that's right, Dan, and... Uh, 
Purchase in transition now. They're trying to make something happen. But uh, they, they have been struggling a little bit with the size of LAU. Nice steal there by Andre Washington. He's perfectly timed. Looking like a defensive back. And uh, floater there misses from Bailey. And... Uh, The technical? Unsure of what that call was, to be honest. <laughs> seen that motion? Oh, yeah, that, I'm unfamiliar with that particular motion. Yeah. So something went against Isaac Johnson. All right. So Isaac Johnson gets his second foul. That is the eighth foul for the Panthers. That means that we will be shooting one and one when we come back from this break. Joe, that makes it 24 to 15 Sharks. We have seven and a half minutes to go in this first half. Yep, and uh, I think that'll take us to our first media timeout, so we'll be back after the break. back after that break so the call was a technical on uh isaac johnson and jacob johnson there sinks the free throw all right so like we had, joe and i had talked about in the break we will if we ever get the chance to talk to the refs figure out exactly what that call was we can figure out what was going on but with that when jacob johnson makes that free throw it is 25 to 15 sharks oh Elijah Bailey hitting the ground hard there. Gets right back up, though. Uh, Got to love the resiliency of some of these players in LAU, man. Absolutely. New player in there for the Panthers, Jacob Bartley. He passes it over to number 15, uh, uh, Nikima. Nikima back up top. Nikima for three. Can't get that one to go. RJ Green with the rebound. That he's leading the charge with the Sharks coming up the court. Has RJ Green even checked out of this game yet? Probably not. Uh, he, him and Jacob Johnson are always kind of our leading minute getters. Yeah, RJ Green has had he had two back to back games of forty minutes. Uh, he he just and he he's got all the energy in the world. Delancey through there a lot of go, contact CJ. gets that one to drop. Excellent it passed there into CJ and he was able to fight through the guys and go up strong and get the plus one. Yep, and let's see if he could sink this one now. We got a 27 to 15, 648 left here. That was the second foul on number 15, Rashid Nakima. And let's see, we're gonna have one guy trying to rebound it. Trey Booker's the lone guy in there. <laughs> and with that, RJ Green's checking out for the first time. As Andre Washington checks back in. CJ's up and oh, gets it to roll. There in. we go. So CJ having a nice couple of plays there. That gets scored 28-15. Sharks with six minutes and 44 seconds left to go in the first half. Did you see that screen there by Matthew Phillips? He just kind of held it a lot longer than needed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but Elijah, Elijah Bailey, Bailey gets the quick steal. steal. He's uh, driving down the court. Yep. Nice, nice dish to Jacob to Johnson. Johnson. And Elijah Bailey, man, he he's resilient. Man, he he fought right through the contact after coming up with that steal, able to get the assist. And in our short amount of time seeing him, Joe, we're seeing why he's out on the air on the court and earned his minutes. Absolutely. Uh, he has absolutely earned it, man. He's such a great player, and he's been a huge contributor to the Sharks team today. And uh, tough finish there by Matthew Phillips. A really, really good look there. CJ was trying to come over the top and get that block there, but he wasn't quite able to get it in. No, but CJ looking for the ball now on Phillips. <laughs> you can just see it in his face how much he wants it, man. Yeah, he he's going back and forth with Phillips there. Unable to get that one to go. 
Tough shot, but with that, the Panthers are bringing the ball up the court. Number 23, Elijah Holmes kind of running the top right now. We have Jacob Johnson topping him. He's going to slow it down a little bit. Inbound pass there to number 10, J Jalen Bartley. Bartley over to number 2, Matthew Phillips. Phillips to, to Johnson. Being guarded tough there by Elijah Bailey. Johnson's going to throw up the shot. Long. No good. Nice rebound there by uh, uh, Trey, Trey Booker. Trey's going to bring it up the court. Elijah Bailey looking to get there, and he's going to slow it down a little bit for us, Joe. Yeah, and something interesting here is uh, for the for the Panthers, we haven't seen much of their leading scorer here. Uh, that, that would be Mark Morgan. Uh, Bailey throws up the shot, but it is on excellent deflection there by Matthew Phillips, number two for the Panthers. And with that, the Panthers are driving down the court. Johnson comes in tough, throws a little Aaron shot up there, and it's going to go over the backboard and be out of bounds. Yeah, but Mar Morgan checks in here now, only six minutes this game, but he's averaging 13 points on the season, which leads the team. Uh, LIU taking another time out here. Score is 30-17, to 17, and uh, we'll be back after the break. back we got elisha bailey jacob johnson uh trey booker cj delancey and andre washington on the court here for your sharks yes sir and, uh we have jacob johnson over in the corner looking to get something started he dishes it up top to trey booker trey booker over to andre washington gonna drive the lane dishes it out to jacob johnson for the long corner three just missed it joe yeah and uh, like we mentioned previously dan not a whole lot of threes from either team in this game just a whole lot of working the ball around trying to get the ball inside Yep, the Panthers are looking to kind of do the same thing. Like you said, we kind of got these these man-on-man uh, -man defenses where everyone's kind of oof, staying up on the top of the lane. With that, our guy Morgan, like you talked about, driving the lane tough there, but he forces the offensive foul. Yeah, a bit of a wild shot there from Morgan, but uh, who was that? Was that Johnson or Bailey that drew that one? It was Bailey, I believe. Yeah, I, I didn't get a great angle on it, but uh, whoever it was, man, just... You know, like we said, great job putting your body out there. We love to praise the guys that are willing to do that. Absolutely. And, uh, that was Morgan's first foul. That is the ninth team foul for the Panthers. So we got two free throws coming up here. Hopefully our cameraman will just rewind it. You can see an instant replay on that later. <laughs> CJ again. Delancey's begging for the ball. He's right been now. wanting it all game. He wants to feast, man. Yep. And, and he there gets his wish. It. But uh, this is back outside to Elijah Bailey. Great cut in by Jacob Johnson and oh, entrance pass by Elijah Bailey. Shot does not count. Foul's going to be on the floor. But as you said, we're in the bonus, so we'll get a one on one. It's, I believe, the third foul on, on, J on Isaac Johnson. Yes, it is. That is the tenth foul. So we're going to get two free throws here after this timeout. Yep. And uh, so that'll bring us to another timeout here. Uh, you know, Dan. 30 to 17 here it it really doesn't it, it's not a huge lead in basketball it's only 13 points but the sharks have really felt like they've had all the momentum in this game they really do but with that being said that's why it feels like the score should be wider you keep bringing up the 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 13 points i'm with you uh but it's just probably again our small little issues they have granted we haven't had many turnovers which is nice we probably have and uh, the fact that we're only at seven fouls isn't terrible either yeah, but. that's right, Dan. Uh, LIU only with four turnovers by my count. Uh, meanwhile, the Panthers are at nine, so LIU is winning that battle. But one is six from three for LIU, two of seven for the Panthers. Uh, and, you know, we, you know, they're, they're shooting well from the line, though, LIU, which is good because, uh, you know, we're at 87.5% on the day, seven for eight. Meanwhile, on the season, LIU is at 63.7%. So that's been a big issue for them this season. Um, you know, it's just been the shooting at the free throw line. And honestly, like, they, they've struggled a lot in general. You know, we, we mentioned the nine-game losing streak. They've, they've had struggles on both ends, um, kind of depending on the game. 
and it's 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 good to see that the phone out with a nice lead here but uh, the efficiency you'd like to see it a little bit better only 44 percent from the field yeah I mean, CJ just giving us a little love over here <laughs> he is not feeling how much the uh, the contact is happening down on this side of the court yeah he's uh, he's been getting beat up down there man but he's, he's fighting through it and uh, been really enjoying to see that kind of aggression too. Yeah, man. CJ, he's getting a great opportunity right now, uh, able to start here for the Sharks, and uh, he's trying to make the most of it. Jacob Johnson made his first one. He's about to throw up his second, and that is just a bit no short. Good. Fight for the rebound, though, but there it uh, was. Perk just comes up with it. 31-17, Sharks with three minutes and 52 seconds left to go in this first half, Joe. And Trey Skeet, our man with the ball here, uh, using the pick to his uh, – nothing at – Oh, my God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nothing out of it, though. Yeah, it doesn't uh, matter. He also comes in hard. And, and Mark Morgan uh, able to get that one. I believe that's going to be an N1 foul on the floor. Uh, so he'll go to the line for one. Yep, the foul was on Andre Washington. That is his second foul. That is our eighth team foul. Jacob Johnson is checking out for RJ Green. Yep, Green back in the game. Green's played a whole lot of minutes this game, uh, as he does every game. He Coach Strickland... Uh, Loves him as a player, man. He, he <laughs> plays a lot of minutes, dude. Uh, he's at 13 for the game. Uh, Jacob Johnson, Andre Washington, both at 16. Uh, they both have uh, been absolutely glued to the floor. Johnson just checked out, but uh, Washington has not checked out yet, I believe. And Green checks in, Ooh. drives in the paint. Unable to get it to go. Delancey fight for the rebound. No good, but that'll go out of bounds. Off of Josiah Nelson, the freshman from Deer Park. Another... Uh, another uh, Long Island guy, there we just go. like Ryan Adams you. and I. Yeah, <laughs> just like him. <laughs> Couple As well as uh, Big Body Burns. Yeah, Big Body. May he rest in vacation. <laughs> uh, we miss Big Body Burns out here, man. <laughs> Sharks are in need of a bucket here. Let's see if we can get it from Elijah. Nope, he drives it stolen right there by Matthew Flips. Another unfortunate turnover there by the Sharks. Phillips and almost turning it over, but able to get out of it. Panthers looking to get another quick bucket here, and they dish it over to Phillips. He's able to control it and take it up back top to Morgan. Shoots Glad a long three. Glad Morgan was able to come down with that pass because I was afraid he's going to hit you right in the noggin there. Nah, man. First team all hands. Terrence Mason with the excellent tip in there <laughs> for the Panthers. And that brings the score to 31-22. And another air pass there. We have yeah. Elijah Bailey up at the top. Just Purchase has really turned it up defensively yeah. these last few possessions. Uh, Bailey gets blocked there. Delancey gets underneath. Draws the foul. <laughs> can't get it to go. Excellent rebound there by CJ to give us a second chance opportunity there. But like you said, he's fouled there by number 22, Trey Skeet. That is his first foul. And, of course, that is the 11th in team foul for the Panthers. So CJ is going to go to the line and shoot a couple more free throws. But luckily for us, CJ has been uh, hitting a few of these, which is nice. There's he, one for you. Yep, he hits that one. That makes him get to four, uh, three of four from the free throw line. And that'll bring it to 9 of 11 from the line as a team for the Sharks, 81%. And uh, that'll make it 9 of 12. Nice little attempt at a put back there from Trey Booker. Uh, and he was able to force the foul, so the ball will be staying on the free throw line for the Sharks here. <laughs> yep, great, great play by Trey Booker, man. Yep, and now you see that Jacob Johnson's about to check back in. He's leading the Sharks with points right now with 14, so it'll be nice to kind of get him back in there. Yeah, he's having himself a game along with uh, two rebounds, three assists, and a block. Yep. So he is checking in for number 22, Elijah Bailey. So we have kind of a bigger unit here finishing out the first half. Trey Booker made that first one, which brought the score to 33-22. We have two and a half minutes left. And as he throws up his second one here, it is good, Joe. Yeah, and we haven't seen Marco check back in after picking up two quick fouls early in this half. Uh, put up seven points in five minutes, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, the Sharks have held on to the lead without him in the game, but uh, wondering what kind of a role he'll get in the second half. Panthers looking to get a quick bucket here, and they dish it back up top to Mark Morgan. Mark Morgan gets double teamed with a nice inlet pass there, but beautiful swatted block. away by CJ. CJ tries to get another block in the jumper there. Yeah, but that's a great Ryan pass. Gets yeah. it to go. Nice little elbow shot there, Joe. RJ Green brings the ball up for the Sharks. He has it kind of at the top of the key. CJ goes, rolls. Gets hit, though, draws the foul. He's liking it. Like we've seen it all game. He wants to be fed. Yeah, he does. And uh, R.J. Green going over to Coach Strickland there, getting some advice from Coach. 
That foul was on Josiah Johnson. That is his first, and CJ will be shooting too. Once again, CJ is three of five from the free throw line. He's looking to get a couple more points here. Gets that one to fall in. Yep. I'm liking his shoes today as well. Some foams. It, you're a big shoe guy here, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. They're all kind of wearing different ones today. Sometimes there's a lot of Kyrie's out there, but not today. CJ second goes a bit long, and it is rebounded by number 10, Jalen Bartley. And with that, the Panthers are bringing the ball up the court. And it is 35 to 24, Joe. We have a minute and 49 seconds left to go. Panthers, Skeet looking to drive. Hard defense there by RJ Green. Jacob Johnson, also hard defense. And is able to force the turnover. Trey Booker coming up with it, taking it in transition. Nice little layup there. Yep, there you go. Points off turnover is a big force, and Trey was able to finish strong there at the basket. 37-24, minute and a half left to go. The Panthers have the ball. Panthers they, love that little dribble handoff there at the wing. Yep, it was one of the things that they always used to reset. Morgan working on Andre, but Andre's not going to let him go. 10 seconds left to go in the shot clock. Morgan's got the ball at the top. Tough defense still there by Andre Washington. Forces the almost steal. Morgan nice gets layup. it back. Goes up strong. That was a really nice set of events there for, for the Panthers. And Mark Morgan to get those two buckets. That was a good showing by him. Yeah, Coach Strickland not happy with that one there. He's, uh, he's letting his players hear it. And uh, we'll be back after the break. Once again, shout out to the cameraman for uh, helping us out here. We love having this this feature today for this game. Yeah, shout out Ryan Adams. Coming in and helping us cold off the bench. This is his first game with us, and with that, the Sharks are looking for a quick bucket. R.J. Green throws up a floater nice from the elbow. Floater. Got it. That's going to be big for R.J. Green. It's kind of like expanding his game because we've seen R.J. have a bit of struggle from the outside, but uh, being able to score from outside the paint is going to be really big for his development Ooh. here. That's a beautiful finish there from Trey Skeet, man. Just falling away from the basket. He yep. would float one off the Hands glass. Back. Trey Booker going in hard. Goes in strong. Gets it. Ooh, no contact. foul. Clock still running. We're down to less than a shot clock here. Joe, you'd mentioned that the refs are kind of letting him play today. Yeah, they are. The It's been a physical game, but uh, the refs are kind of letting it happen for the most part. We have 15 seconds left. 41-28 Sharks, and the Panthers are looking to get that final shot off. With that skeet to have the ball at the top, and it's going to be between probably him or Morgan, as you can tell. Those Morgan with the deep three with five seconds left. Wasn't able to get that one to go. Yep. And with that, we'll see what Drake and can throw up a prayer. Washington throws one up, does not count, and is no good. So it is halftime. Joe Simile, Sharks are up 41 28 over the SUNY Purchase Panthers. That's right, Dan. And, uh, you know, we, we've kind of been saying it all game, man. It's The themes are kind of the same, right? Not a whole lot of threes being shot. Uh, you know, it's it's not a huge margin, but it feels like LIU has all the momentum in this game. And uh, they have been playing fantastic defense the entire game. Yeah, we are one of six from the line, Joe, and that one coming from, of course, Marco in his early three. On the flip side of that, the Panthers are only two from nine with, Mo with Morgan and Johnson each hitting one apiece. Um, the Sharks have always been a team since we've seen them that they are at their best when they're hitting it from deep um you know cube uh keon burns also hasn't checked into this game i'm not sure what his kind of health status is but uh well another interesting note you had is that marco came in for five minutes had seven points and has been sitting ever since yeah i mean it's it, it'll be interesting to see if marco gets back in this game to start the second half i mean coach strickland's really liked the crew he's had with uh booker washington johnson and green and uh with elijah bailey getting in there so it'll be interesting to see what kind of like how many minutes marco can get because uh, it's, I mean, they haven't quite struggled without the shooting of Marco, and uh, the other guy's been really bringing it defensively. Now, we have seen, uh, Purchase did kind of turn up in the last 10 minutes there. We uh, noted earlier, only nine points in the first 11 minutes. 
uh, and then 19 cents. So they they they've been applying the pressure a little bit more here uh, in the second half of the first half. Uh, is they got aggressive too, is what they started doing, and that can happen just when you kind of get your bearings under this court. Um, I have a saying that I've used in this before and that I use in all sports. You never want to let a team hang around. And so I think it'll be big for the Sharks to come out strong here in the second half, get a couple quick buckets, and really kind of put this game out of reach. Yeah, that's right, Dan. And, you know, they're, they're getting a lot more aggressive on both ends as well. Uh, you know, early on we saw them just try to kind of run right to the rim, try and play physical, but uh, it wasn't really working out for them. And then they've been playing a lot more aggressive defensively. They're kind of forcing the Sharks to scramble a little bit, and it, it's gotten them some points in transition. And, you know, they're, they're working the ball around. They're trying to play a little bit smarter, a little bit more controlled, and uh, they've had some success with it, but the Sharks still holding on up by 13 here going into the half. Absolutely, Joe. And so far, we kind of talked about rebounds and turnovers as our keys to the game. We uh, Rebounds are tied, 18 in peace. So, uh, unfortunate there, like you said. But as far as the turnovers go, we only have five to their 11. So, we have definitely been winning that game, and you're seeing it. It appears that their turnovers, their turnovers excuse me, come from maybe rushed and or errant passes. Yeah, and, uh, you know, about the rebound thing as well, you know, the Sharks are only playing one big man out there. It's been Nadia or Delancey. But uh, I think in general, the lineups purchases we're putting out have been a, a lot larger just on average, you know, because the Sharks, I mean, Andre Washington listed 5'11". He's been out there most of the game. And uh, Elijah Bailey also on the, uh, you know, on the as we mentioned, he's, he's on the shorter end as well. Normal and height. <laughs> normal height, yeah. <laughs> but uh, in terms of Division One basketball, basketball, yeah. And, uh, you know, Trey Booker, Trey Booker only at 6'4". So uh, the, they, the size has been pretty comparable most of the game, uh, save for C.J. Delancey and Shek Ndiaye. But, uh, you know, it, it's been interesting to see just uh, a lot of the long rebounds as well that are going to the guards. And, you know, it, it, it's been a good contest so far, though. I agree. It's been fun calling this again. I just love college basketball so much. I love basketball in general. And it's nice that we're able to get in this game before we hit our student Christmas break, I guess you could call it. Yeah, that's right, Dan. And, you know, happy holidays to everyone at home, uh, whatever you celebrate. Uh, or not celebrate. Or don't celebrate. <laughs> you know, we just hope you enjoy the time out there. But, um, you know, Jacob Johnson leading the charge for the Sharks with 14 points, the only player in double digits in this game. And, uh, you know, Malatich, as we said, he's second leading scorer for the Sharks in only five minutes at seven points. I love that so much. That's so Marco of him. It is. And uh, <laughs> Morgan leading the way for the Panthers, uh, eight points. And uh, Isaac Johnson with seven. My new favorite college basketball player, Isaac Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, C.J. Delancey and Trey Booker both with five rebounds, so they've been kind of leading the Sharks in that regard. But uh, you know. we've, we've been over it, and it's just like uh, it's nice that the Sharks have a lead, and it is shown that they're the more commanding of the teams. And so I would just say at this point in time, yeah, it'd be nice if we could see a couple more three-pointers come from this team that's full of shooters. Maybe bring up the rebounds a little bit, hit those, keep hitting those free throws, and uh, we should be fine in the second half here. Yeah, and another interesting stat, Dan, the assist. The Sharks have 10 to the Panthers 6, so there is a bit of a discrepancy there. Uh, Sharks with 5 steals, Panthers with 4, so pretty comparable there, and both teams with 2 blocks. Um, but, you know, the Panthers are also fouling a bit more, 13 to the Sharks 8, and obviously the turnovers with 11 to 5. Absolutely. Joe, we have nine and a half minutes left of this half. I think we will kick it to a break here. And for everyone watching, we say thank you. And we will be back shortly before the start of the second half here on the Base Network. Absolutely, Dan. Uh, it's been a pleasure calling this one with you. And uh, let's kick it to a break.
This break in the action is brought to you by the LIU Marketing Society. For individuals looking for experience in digital marketing, creative advertisements, and graphic design, this is the club for you. It looks great in your resume. Meetings are at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. For more information, DM at LIU Marketing Society. That's at LIU Marketing Society on Instagram. Or join the e-club in presence. Thank you to LIU Marketing Society. And we are back. We got about 20 seconds left in this halftime. Sharks are up 41 to 28 going into the second half. And uh, Dan, what are we looking to see out of the Sharks in the second half? Marco shooting his shot. I'll be curious if he if we bring out our same starters that we started with, or if he kind of goes with the lineup we've been going. I just want to see a continued sense of like aggression and us just staying hot. Call me a forever optimist, Joe. <laughs> I want us to be able to a week from today. Be at Barclays, you, not me, sadly, <laughs> and see a Sharks win, you know, to start the yeah. conference playoff. Like, you know, it's so sad when you look at the standings and you just see it's at the bottom, but that's it. Like, I think that if we can come in hot and we're finally looking a bit healthier and if we can win some conference games, it can really kind of turn the thoughts around on this season. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. And, you know, the season is far from over. You know, conference play is really what counts, right? Yep. Non-conference is really more of just a warm-up, kind of see, gauge how well you're doing, what's working, what's not, so that way you're ready for conference play. And the Sharks are going to play, you know, a lot more similarly matched teams. Now, a lot of people believe this NEC conference is going to be wide open this year. And here's our man, Marco. He is checked in. So uh, right in front of us here, number 24, Good along with Andre you. Washington, CJ Delancey, Jacob Johnson, RJ Green. And uh, purchase inbound here. Uh, and Trey Skeet has the ball to start. And we see our man Brady James back on the floor. Yeah, that's what we're going to kind of Brady is his name. We keep mixing, we keep mixing up. We're going to see first some different names, bodies uh, that were in foul trouble because he had yeah. three pretty quickly. And with that, he goes up strong there in the middle and puts it up over Marco. Yep. And James Brady, he is uh, he's a hard-nosed defender, as we were saying, man. He, he gets right up into you. Marco there, nice little curl there. It, Unable to get the shot to fall. Delancey comes up with the rebound, but gets it poked away. And Purchase will be running in transition now. Trey Skeet moving the ball up. Uh, Purchase looking to move it around. Back to Skeet. Phillips is looking to set a screen for Skeet here. Guarded by Washington. Uh, screen does not connect with Washington. Skeet picks up the ball. Back to James. And he gets a pick there. Tries to get a... Uh, pass in there to Terrence Mason. Unable to get that one to go. Washington moving the ball up to R.J. Green. Gets stuffed 
James Say his name Brady. Right. There you go. James Brady with an impressive block on RJ Green transition. That, I mean, that didn't look like a whole. <laughs> but that is a genuinely impressive block. Yeah. Coming from the side behind him. I like a truly unique LIU scenario here where we're not able to get the ball to inbound it because it is underneath the bleachers. <laughs> That's great. You can and see uh, Marco just being like, what What can I do? Yeah. Elijah yeah. Bailey checks in for RJ Green after getting blocked on the dunk there. Uh, but, yeah, man, uh, James yes, Brady, he, he may not be, you know, the best scorer on the team, but he, he's been a really valuable player for them uh, in this season. He, big big shout-out to the child who came in from the bleachers to grab that ball for us. Absolutely. Shout-out. <laughs> shout-out little Johnny. Yeah. And uh, Marco Bad check moment there. there. So normally in games, uh, it was something of note that Q, Keon Burns, would be our big inbound guy. And so he is out. He must be injured at this point in time, Joe, for him to not have seen the floor. Yeah, I noticed he only he, had like six or seven minutes last game, too. He's still wearing the, the warm-ups there on the bench. Uh, he hasn't gotten in the game, which seems abnormal. Uh, so I know he had been uh, struggling with some lower body injuries earlier in the season. That left him questionable. And I guess Coach Strickland's letting him rest today. Uh, Delancey tries a little fadeaway there. Uh Seemed like he didn't really know if he wanted to do a fadeaway or a hook shot until the very end there. Another thing I've noticed about CJ is he goes up with his right hand. So uh, no matter, kind of regardless of the shot, which is an interesting note for a guy mm. down below. Yeah, Andre Washington unable to get that one to drop. Uh, our boy James Brady pushing the ball up. And uh, Skeet tries to get one off the glass, <laughs> unable to connect. And Jacob Johnson will take it in transition. Let's get a bucket here, Joe, to start this half off right. Jacob Johnson. Yeah, Jacob Johnson. Be the man we need. Huff. Finish. Be he, the man we need. He got a lot need. of contact there by Brady. Slipped a little. Still able to flip it up off the glass. And I think that sub was really interesting earlier, Dan. Uh, very quick. Yeah. Less than a minute, uh, I believe. Uh, that's a very, very rare thing to happen without injury. And, uh, I agree. It wasn't like RJ was in foul trouble or anything. No. But, uh, he just got stuffed. <laughs> yeah. And I guess Coach Strickland wasn't happy with that one. Terrence Mason, a nice little pull-up jumper from the mid-range area. Now Jacob Johnson with the ball. He's going to bring this one up. Brady James. James Brady stuffing his pants, getting ready to defend. <laughs> and a uh, nice little switch there. And it was an interesting note because it came. Ooh. Marco, quick trigger. That Atta one's boy. Passed. There you go, Marco. No question. Marco has easily the best jumper on the team, I'd say. Um, <laughs> shaking it off already. Yeah. Uh, no, no rust on that boy, man. No, nope, Nothing nope. at all. And uh, Morgan contested three, three from Morgan. Yep. CJ with a nice rebound there, though. Yep. Elijah so, Bailey going to bring it up. It, uh, going back to an early note, it was interesting that he was the first guy to check back in for us, too. So he's clearly been the sixth man tonight. Yeah, I mean, he, Coach Strickland's obviously impressed with him. Andre Washington, talk about impressive. Nice little finish there. But, uh, yeah, Coach Strickland loves him, man. Uh, loves his game, I guess. He's a... Uh, you know, like we said, he plays hard, he plays smart, and he's just such a talented player. I mean, you know, if he had a few more inches, he uh, very easily could have had a role uh, at, a, at a much bigger school. But, uh, you know, we still got a good program here. Uh, Marco with the board. Yeah, Jacob the Panthers Johnson are forcing shots here, it feels like. Yep, Marco pump fake. A little crossover, loses it, though, and that'll go the other way. So with that, we're going to have a couple quick uh, substitutions as well. RJ's checking back in after that little that little break. Elijah Bailey then coming out, and then we also have Sheck coming in for CJ. So yep. it is 48-32. We got a couple uh, buckets there. 16 and a half minutes left to go in this half. Marco's gotten a shot up and in, so that's a good start. Yeah, and uh, you know we got 48-32 here. Um, you know, Sharks still 16 point lead right now. Uh, I'm interested to see how long Sheck stays in the game. He had a short stint in the first half, uh, only about four minutes. But, uh, you know, big Quick fans of Sheck steal here. there by Andre Washington. Yep, you can tell he, he has a bit of a ball hawk Marco too. for three. Ooh, Ooh, rattles out. Looked good coming out of his hand. Panthers looking to push now. Nice ball movement there, and that'll be a foul. Terrence Mason will be going to the line on that one. Like you said, it was got, we're obviously we're fans of shooters over here on this broadcast. <laughs> so the fact that we were able to get a nice steal there by Andre Washington, another one, and dish it quickly to Marco. He, as long as he keeps shooting those, I'm a happy camper, my friend. Yeah, and that'll be a timeout, so we'll take a quick break here along with the timeout. We'll be back after this. This break in the action is brought to you by the LIU Marketing Society. For individuals looking for experience in digital marketing, creative advertisements, and graphic design, this is the club for you. It looks great in your resume. Meetings are at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. For more information, DM at LIU Marketing Society. That's at LIU Marketing Society on Instagram. 
or join the e-club in presence. Thank you to LIU Marketing Society. <laughs> this break in the action is brought to you by the... And we are back here at the end of that timeout. We got 15.59 left. 15.59 left here. Sharks up 48 to 22. Joe, excellent ad read there in the middle of that break. <laughs> we love the Marketing Society. And if you're listening to this and you're an LIE club or really anyone at this point in time, shoot us some ad stuff. We'd love to read it for you. Yeah, we'd love to read some ads for you guys free of charge. We, uh, we want to put the students forward here on our student run broadcast. Uh, speaking of students, Terrence Mason here, freshman uh, at the line. Speaking of transitions, Joe, that was excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Misses that one uh, out of Greenberg, New York. Here, get uh, a get a little laugh track going there. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> Dan loves his uh, laugh track after the missed free throws from the opponents, uh, and we'll see if we get another one. No, we will not. Unfortunate. I'm, I love laugh tracks as much as you love native New Yorkers playing basketball here. <laughs> it's cool to see, man. New York is truly, in my small amount of time here, a basketball state, and I love it. Yeah, it's it's known as the Mecca, man. And RJ Green, nice finish, man. But uh, I think that one will stay on the floor. It so. will, but it was a hard finish. And uh, especially after, like, we know, we're going to note it again, that quick check-in, check-out scenario he was a part of earlier. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. I don't know what was really going on there, but uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll either find out or we'll never know. Yeah, fair enough. That was the first team foul on the Ooh, Panthers. Marco threw a lot of contact. Can't get that one to go. But, but Shaq, Shaq with a nice rebound. Up. Yep. Good to see him get a quick bucket in there as he uh, didn't get much run in the first half. Yep, yep. Now the Panthers are working the ball around here. Oh, and... Andre Washington just gets absolutely burned there by <laughs> Isaac Johnson. Yeah, a beautiful little spin move there to get the bucket. Great pass in there to Isaac Johnson as well. All right, we got RJ at the top. Gets it to Sheck. Little dribble handoff. Picks it up. Washington. Maltech. Quick trigger, and that one's There cash. we go. Marco loves that three ball, and we love to see it. Yep, right in the corner. He knew as soon as he shot it, too, that that one was good. Yep, and now the Sharks have an 18-point lead here, 53-35. to 35. And that'll be a foul on Andre Washington. So Marco once again coming in. A couple quick buckets that gets him to 13 points. Our leading score right now is Jacob Johnson at 16. It's like one of those basketball things where someone's gotten a quiet 16. Yeah. I mean, a quiet I, I 16. I feel like that's a lot of Jacob Johnson's game. You know, he, <laughs> he has a lot of, of it, quiet, yeah. large scoring games, man. Uh, he just he plays in transition really well. He gets the basket uh, and he finishes really well. Yep. We got Elijah Bailey looking like he's ready to check back in. Wonder who is gonna, whose place he's gonna take here. And a uh, little jump shot there misses from Isaac Johnson. Rebound by Shaq Nadine. The Sharks are pushing the ball up the court again. Yep. Now Jacob Johnson taking it in. A little spin move through the contact, unable to get to go. Marco coming up with the rebound. Little runner gets fouled and he'll go to the line. Yeah. Foul was on Isaac Johnson. Isaac Johnson was claiming that was ball, but if you watched it from our view, it clearly was not. Did not look like a whole <laughs> lot of ball. <laughs> yeah, Mark, well, I would. It felt to me like he got no ball in that one. <laughs> Isaac Johnson's leading this game in shot attempts. He's four for nine this game, nine points. That also surprising me that they called that one on the floor. That interesting, because I would have. That is it. certainly interesting. Andre Washington getting checked out for Elijah Bailey here. Because if you Marco know Marco, you know he's always shooting. Yeah. Another quick foul on the floor. And I think that might be a technical. On Marco? I believe it was on number five. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Yeah, Mark Morgan picking up the tech. So Marco will shoot. Interesting. Just yelling? 
I mean, he, he might have said the golden word, and Marco, rare miss for him there. Two techs we've seen on the Panthers so far in this game. Yep. Gets that one to go, though. So those were Marco's first free throw attempts. Oh, I lied. That was the second and third. But <laughs> the fact that he missed them, like you said, is a rare miss from him. But Oh, Elijah Bailey was wide open underneath the basket. Yes, Marco missed him there. Marco taking it in. Couple steps. Floater unable to go. Fight for the rebound. Sheck gets it off the save from Matthew Phillips. And he's able to convert there. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Phillips, great hustle, but just threw it right to Sheck down low. And Sheck a little bit out of position there. Uh, the Panthers able to get an open three. Gets that one to fall. That'll be Matthew Phillips. Great shot there by Phillips. Yeah, a little miscommunication there from the Sharks. Uh, coach is quite confused on what happened there. Uh, Coach having a word with Marco yeah. there. Uh, Marco kind of hanging his head up a little bit. Yeah. Seems a little frustrated. Makes you wonder what that, uh, the, the shift there that you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the Sharks got put all out of position there. Uh, definitely just a communication issue. Somebody didn't know who they were picking up. But uh, it resulted in a three. So that'll bring the score to 38 to 56. Sharks still up. 14 minutes left to go. And we are back, and it looks like we got Sheck Nadaye, Marco Malatich, uh, RJ Green, Jacob Johnson, and Elijah Bailey out on the floor for your Sharks. So uh, I believe that's the same unit as when the timeout started. And yeah. the Sharks will have the ball. RJ Green going to bring it up. 14 minutes left in the second half. Johnson has it. Back to Green. Down to Nadaye. Nadaye going to work it inside. Nice little hook shot there for Nadaye. And that's really when Nadia thrives, man, when he just gets the ball, goes in for the quick move, and gets a nice little hook shot there over the smaller defender. Yeah, during the break, Joe, I noticed an interesting uh, announcement in the sports world that Google signed a seven-year deal to get Sunday ticket. I did see that, yeah, that this morning. Uh, that was... Uh, they weren't initially in the top. And that'll be an N1 there from Mark Morgan. I, of course, love media contracts, and so the fact that they were able to come in out of kind of nowhere really surprised me because Apple was looked at, Apple and Disney were looked at as big potential people for that. Yeah, I mean, all those companies have deep pockets, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's always a surprise. Yeah. As a multiple-year sub Sunday ticket subscriber, I hope it just is as smooth as it's been in the past for me. <laughs> hope for your sake as well, Dan. <laughs> Shaq trying to fight down low yep. there. Gets it. A lot of contact yeah. there. But our man, James Brady, down low. getting. <laughs> I mean, he, he forced that initial stop on yes, Shaq he when he first went up. Able to stuff in there. Could have been a jump ball there, honestly. But then Shaq able to recover and then draw the foul. That was the fifth foul there on, excuse me, the third foul on number five, Mark Morgan. That is our fourth team foul. Shaq to the line. Let's see if we can continue these better free throw numbers going. First one? No. Right off the back iron, <laughs> unable to get that one to go. You know, I don't think I've ever seen Marco smile on the basketball court. No. He. No, he's an intense he, dude. He, yeah, he's intense. He's serious, man. He. Uh, he's always. <laughs> Which is strange from being a Canadian, you know, because they're always <laughs> supposed to be so nice. Yeah, but, uh, you know, he. He's he's he takes this thing seriously, man, and uh, it, it shows. His work ethic is great, obviously, given how good of a shooter he is, man. And uh, James Brady tries something there, doesn't get it to go. 
Roger Again. Bailey pushing up. Marco for three. Oh, a bit long. The great iron, but rebound there by Jacob yeah, Johnson. Jacob Johnson reading that right off the rim. Beautiful board. Nice little put back. That'll get us to 60 to 41 Sharks. 12 and almost 12 and a half left. I loved it the last time outbreak. A guy that's OCD with his fives and zeros when we stopped the clock in an even 14 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was really nice there. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That'll Honestly, be a foul on the floor on Elijah Bailey. Yeah, that was a great pass by Skeet in there to number one Terrence Mason. Yeah, and a good foul there by Bailey. He got beat, agree. and uh, you no know, reason stopped. to give him an easy bucket. Yep, stop the basket. So this is our fourth team foul. We got both squads at four team fouls already. That is the second foul on Elijah Bailey. No sharks really in big foul trouble at this point in time. No, it, it's been it's been a group effort. Uh, the fouls and you know that's good you know you, you don't want guys fouling out you don't get too much shine there for their fouls <laughs> yeah that's right but uh we see here we see here mark morgan trying to work it inside and does but gets it off the backboard pushing it up elijah bailey in transition oh, oh. almost had a gorgeous finish nadia gets it back to bailey who gets blocked there. i believe that was by number one terrence mason and now the panthers are in transition trey booker getting ready to check in for the sharks here and nice little finish there, there by Trey by Ski. Ski. Oh, a little English on that. Yeah, that was a uh, uh, <laughs> little English. That's the perfect way to describe what that was. <laughs> Strong finish there by him. And yeah, RJ Green now trying to get something going. Fakes the pass to Marco. There will be a foul on the floor. Uh, that's going to go on number 15, I believe. Yeah, Nakima was not thrilled that that foul was going against him. But again, just shows one of my favorite things about watching Marco and shows that it works with him getting his shots open is the dude moves around like crazy. Yeah. And so all you got to do is just run through four bodies there. And if someone collides you, that is a foul. That's right. And we got another timeout here. Uh, so we'll go to a quick break. Sharks got the ball again. RJ Green's got it up top, calling out a play for his fellow Shark teammates. Uh, looks like Trey Booker came in for Andre Washington, if I'm not mistaken. We got uh, Elijah Bailey. I can't remember. Oh, who Elijah was in. Bailey. Yeah. You're, you're correct. Yes, Elijah Bailey was on the floor. Jacob Johnson, nice little finish there. Johnson's on the floor with Booker, uh, Booker Green, Malatich, and Nadia. That gets him to 20 points for the game as well, Joe. Yep, he's had he's had an incredible season here so far. Uh, let's just hope he can keep it going. Marco guarding James Brady and gets a foul there. Unfortunately, that'll be uh, another one for Marco. It'll be his third. We'll see <laughs> how quickly you take him out for that. Yeah, we'll see you. Quick, see, sh quick shout out once again to Ryan Adams, our cameraman, during the break. Yeah, he's been fantastic. He can't hear us right now. I know. I can't wait to give him his flowers afterwards. I know, yeah. It, it'll be great. He, he deserves them. Now Marco getting the ball. Going inside, pulls right by James Brady, gets a nice little layup. That'll bring him up to 18, 18. for Marco. Quick 11 points for him this half. <laughs> yeah, right? But uh, working it inside now, ooh, just 
couldn't get that one to spin at yeah. all. Shaq was bodying him. If they were able to get it back. Three-pointer from Matthew Phillips, able to fall. Another one, that's, the his, Bronx. that's his second three-pointer of this half, too. Yeah, he's he's their tallest player, too. So, uh, you know, he, he's been a big threat for them. Adai gets it down low now, trying to work it inside. Kicks it out to Green, to Booker, to Malatic. No question he was going to shoot that. Couldn't get that one to go. Strong Adai, board by Shaq. Gets it poked away, and that'll be Panthers basketball. CJ Delancey checking in now. Oh, trouble getting up there. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good to see at uh, all. That, that wasn't very convincing. <laughs> no, uh, just getting up from the check-in bench. Yeah. I uh, don't know if he's uh, ailing, but uh, I guess we'll see. That knee's been bothering him since the uh, the, the second game we did, Joe. Mm. Oop, and a nice steal there by steal. Jacob Johnson. Gets bumped in transition. No call, but gets the finish. For his quiet 22nd point. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's such a phenomenal player, man. Defensively, he, he's probably, I would say, probably the best on the Sharks. Oh, definitely. And, you know, I mean, he's been among the leading scorers in a lot of the games the Sharks have had. He, he's really been incredible. Trey Booker trying to draw a charge, but good job by Brady to hold up. Mark Morgan working around. Trying to, trying to put on a show here. He's got a lot of shifty moves, but uh, hasn't been able to create a whole lot of separation. And so we see Marco, Marco get his pick fourth, up a fourth foul. And then CJ immediately had to hold him back, too. <laughs> yeah, I, some of these calls have been uh, a little weak compared to what we've been seeing in this game. A little inconsistent, uh, especially right after that bump that uh johnson had on his yeah. layup uh that definitely could have been a foul but absolutely yeah so Marco we'll see andre, as as saw andre checking in too that that was going to be his time yeah coach coach strickland doesn't look too upset though i agree just uh, giving him a little love yeah look, looking like a little bit of advice but uh you know I, coach coach definitely was uh, a little more upset about some of the earlier ones but i don't really think he could fault marco for that one no just that was a tough, tough spot. yeah yeah, sometimes that happens in basketball. Now, Mark Morgan has his shorts pulled up, and he's got uh, some sort of undershort uh, coming Sick through. compression. Yeah. He makes that second one, so that gets our score 66-48 with nine minutes and 40 seconds left to go, Joe. Yep, great call, Dan. Uh, Booker calling for Washington to come get the ball. Working it around to Johnson down low. Looking for it. Oh, tries to get it to Washington, but Morgan comes away with the seal. Washington back in transition, uh, but Morgan gets the uncontested layup. Green pushing it up to Johnson. Johnson looking for something to get started here. Finds Booker. Back to Johnson. Back up to Green. Slow it down and get it started for us at the top of the key here. Yep. And we see they're, uh, they're playing off of Trey Booker a little bit. Uh, and, oh, R.J. Green. Great give and go there between him and C.J. He, he's such a fluid athlete, R.J. Green. Like, no no load-up time at all needed. It was like he just bounced off his toe. Just <laughs> got right up there and put it in, man. Uh, yeah, Andre Washington working it in, kicking it out to R.J. Green. He's not going to shoot that one from the logo, unfortunately. But We could use one or two of those, though. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> be cool to see. Trey Booker has trouble holding on to that one. Comes up with it. Working it around. Jacob Johnson now trying to go baseline. Spins. Nice little hook shot. Unable to get that one to go. Yeah, nice and defense there by Terrence Mason on him. Absolutely. And uh, we see Brian Atkinson checking in for the Panthers. I believe that's the first time we've seen him today. Six-foot guard out of Emerson, New Jersey. And uh, Terrence Mason trying to work the ball inside here. Excellent RJ Green steal comes up by with RJ. Steal. Got the two-on-one here to Washington. Nice pump fake. Gets the easy layup. Perfect little transition uh, layup there off a nice steal. Yep, and Trey Booker trying to get something happening on defense as well. And the Panthers are going to look to push. CJ guarding the player there. And Brian Atkinson, nice little pump fake. Takes it inside. Gets it poked away, but that'll be a foul on Trey Booker. Our score right now, Joe, is 70 to 50. We have seven minutes and 51 seconds left to go here in this half. And going back to what we talked about, the Sharks have clearly been much more in control this half. Absolutely, Dan. The 20-point lead here uh, is, I believe, the most of the game so far. And uh, as you said, the Sharks have been, in the, have been taking command, really. Um, you know, Jacob Johnson up to 22 points. Mark up to 18, only 15 minutes, which is spectacular. <laughs> And, uh, you know, C.J. Delancey's been getting it done down low, eight rebounds. And uh, R.J. Green, man, just absolutely stuffing the stat sheet. Uh, he's got 
He's got four points, four rebounds, six assists, two steals in 26 minutes, man. R.J. Green's been having a phenomenal game, uh, really just doing it all. You know, you'd like to get a few more points out of him, but, I mean, you really can't complain with the all-around contribution he's given the Sharks today. No, I agree. It's been a good team effort. Um, and, we, we, again, and, you know, I talked to uh, Dr. Angarola, who's one of the head of the sports departments here at school during the halftime. It's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a game we need right now, and I know I've mentioned that before, so apologies for the uh, broken recordness of my speaking. But, you know, I just... I just love seeing us getting a win out there. And like you said, Coach Strickland has been fairly calm throughout these things, and you're able to get rid of like some of these things. So when we play Wagner next week, that maybe Marco doesn't get that foul on the floor. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a good warm-up here for the Sharks, you know, just making sure that uh, the chemistry is looking good going into that game. But uh, I like that to, to beat a team like Wagner, they're really going to need to have a little stronger performance from the outside. Right now, the team's only 3 of 11. Marco's the only one to actually make a 3. He's made all 3 of them. <laughs> uh, as, he as he would. Yeah, you know, Marco's a phenomenal shooter, but he is not on the court currently. We actually do finally get to see that double big man lineup. So we got CJ Delancey, Sheck Nadai, Andre Washington, Trey Booker, and RJ Green checking into the game here as Atkinson gets ready to shoot these free throws. It'll be fun to kind of see how we do with this. Yeah, it, it definitely will be, and, you know, a lot of people don't really like the two big man lineup anymore in today's game, but honestly, like as we said, the Sharks are not playing a lot of shooters. Marco's really been the only consistent threat that's played today, so it, it you know the, the kind of thought press there is why not try and get some more size? Why not get some more physicality? Uh, and we'll, we'll kind of see how this fares with the Sharks. It started immediately with a double screen out at the top too. Yeah, and we have a, a six foot four guard on Delancey here to start. Um, so definitely a size mismatch. Booker, get the shot, unable to get it to go. And I tried for the rebound, wasn't able to come up with yeah, it. Yeah, both him and CJ kind of timed the, the their jumps there not perfectly. Yep, Atkinson trying to push. Kids playing with a lot of energy right now. Nice little hook shot there from Rashid Nakima. And now the, the Sharks have the ball. Nice little spin move there by R.J. Green. Uses the screen from Delancey. Nadia's got it up top. Won't shoot it. Uh, I wanted him to. <laughs> Washington works it inside. Gets the bump. Unable to get it to go, but Nadia cleaned With up on the glass. With a perfect tip in. Nice little tip in from Nadia. That'll get us to 72-53. I love how we have two big men out there, and immediately Andre's like, I'm going to drive to the hole there. <laughs> Yeah, and Atkinson, nice little crossover, loses the ball there. R.J. Green with another steal. Here he comes in transition, gets the bump, unable to get the finish. to die. gets the putback dunk, but it won't count as there was a foul on the first shot by Green. A little late call on the foul there, too. Yeah, uh, definitely a little bit of a late call, but R.J. Green will be going to the line here. R.J., this will be his first free throw attempts of the game. That was the fourth foul, by the way, on number 15, Ronald Akima, and that is their sixth foul of the half. So not as many fouls this half as we had kind of going into the last one. Yeah, that's right, Dan. And uh, here we got uh, Josiah Nelson checking in for Mark Morgan for the Panthers. Uh, Josiah Nelson is a freshman out of Deer Park, as we previously mentioned. He's our, uh, our island boy. We love Deer Park. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, <laughs> R.J. Green unable to get that one to go. Delancey, nice little putback. Unable to get it, but does get his own rebound. Another putback, Delancey. R.J. Green, another putback. Can't get that one to go. R.J. Green, again, gets wow. the finish. Nice resiliency there from R.J. Green. Now, Dan, interesting tidbit that was on the ESPN Plus broadcast of LAU's last game mm -hmm. against James Madison. Apparently, R.J. Green is not currently on scholarship. The plan is, is to get him on scholarship. But they said that it had something to do with uh, at the time he arrived. He's not currently on scholarship. But Interesting. Especially for a guy that plays more minutes than, than most, anyone. Yeah. He, he's definitely earned. He definitely deserves it, man. He, uh, If he sticks around all four years, he's going to have a fantastic career here at LIU. Mm -hmm. As Nadia gets fouled, he's going to the line. Dan's a little sleepy oh, right now. Oh, man. Apologies for that. Dan needs some threes. He needs. I know. <laughs> I just need a little juice in my veins. <laughs> just shoot me up straight with threes. <laughs> Excellent inbound, uh, in insert pass there to Nadai, and he was able to go up strong. Yep, Nadai, no hesitation. No. Since that one. <laughs> Didn't even slide right up enough. and in. Yep. And Nadai going for the second one. He's also got a nice pair of shoes on today. Unable to get that one to go. Delancey gets his own, gets the board, and he's able to put that one back in. 
These we've two seen, bigs. That's what I was going to say. We've seen it the last two couple drives. Where they're really just kind of doing what they need to down there on the boards. Yeah, and not even just the bigs. RJ Green pulled down a couple offensive rebounds on ice possession as well. Yep. So this size has really been tough to overcome for SUNY Purchase. Oh, oh Delancey puts one off the glass. Absolutely pins that one off the backboard, and the Sharks are going in transition now. RJ Green calling out a play here, as well as Coach Strickland. RJ Green gets the double screen. Delancey's open over the middle. RJ Green unable to get to him, but he takes it inside to Nadai. Ball's being uh, passed around here by just about everyone on the court, and yep. that'll be a jump ball possession arrow in favor of LIU. We'll be able to keep it down on our end. Yeah, that's just another, like, it's those kind of passes that we need to get rid of in our game, you know, to get rid of, like, those potential turnovers and stuff like that. Yeah. See, uh, Sheck was able to fight for it to keep it from being a full-fledged turnover, but it'd be nice if it was just to be able to be a clean transition there. Yeah, oftentimes what we see with some of these uh, these input passes is that a lot of times they're not coming in as high as the big men are expecting. All times it'll kind of hit them in the waist region or in near the abdomen when they're really trying to catch it up by their face they can quickly go up with it. Yep, there's just a lot of hands, a lot of bodies going down yep. there. Very congested paint, especially with this lineup. Delancey put, a, put the ball on the floor there. Booker for three at the end of the shot clock. There gets we it to go. go. Great shot. A great uh, pass by CJ and a nice shot there by Trey Booker to give us another person with a three. Yep, that'll be 81 to 53. Andre Washington absolutely hounding uh, Brian Atkinson here. And Atkinson getting rid of the ball now. Man, Andre Washington just goes after it defensively, man. He he gets all up in your grill. He'll go in front of you, behind you, around you. He'll do whatever it takes to go get that ball. It's nice to see it, too, after he was out the beginning of the season due to injury. Yep, and Nadai will get a foul there. And uh, that will put LIU up to nine. Nine. Luckily, so we're rocking a 30-point th lead at this point in time. Well, it's a 28-point lead. I know. Are you proud of my quick math, though? It was inaccurate, man. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you for trying. Fives and zeros, OCD. <laughs> As I remember. I, I'm proud of you for trying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, missed free throw there, so now the Sharks going to have it. They're going to slow things down here. Get another double screen here. And then a little flare screen for Booker, who's going to call something out now. You see the Sharks are communicating a lot. Marco is now getting ready to check in. Delancey really thought about trying to yeah. jam that one from outside the paint. <laughs> Realize he isn't exactly Superman, as close as he may be, yeah. and just floats it in. Sharks up 83 to 53. Now you got your 30-point lead, Dan. Thank you. I needed that for my brain. <laughs> With that, Marco's uh, about to check back in, too, see if he can get a couple more buckets. Yeah, I wonder who comes out for him, man. Be oh, interesting to see. Hopefully not one of our big guys. <laughs> yeah, you enjoying this lineup? Uh, of course I am. It's just something different. And at this point in the game, who cares? Yeah. Nice block there. Wasn't sure who got that. There was about four arms on that basketball. Yeah. Uh, his called, body hit the floor. Called a block on the team. Yeah. <laughs> it's just team foul. So Sheck's the one that gets the call. There, so that's his second one right there in a row. And that brings our ninth team foul there, Joe. Yep. And then we'll get a timeout here. So we'll be back after the break. Sharks up by 30, 83 to 53. 
Uh, Marko Malicic in the game now with Trey Booker, RJ Green, Andre Washington, and CJ Delancey. So Shek Nadai was the odd man out who got subbed out for Marco. And Rasheed Nakima shooting at the line here. Able to get that one to go. Now with that last basket by CJ Delancey that got him to 10 points uh, and with those 12 rebounds, he's our first guy to kind of get into double-double uh, -double territory there. But the other thing I noticed is that Sheck also has already grabbed 10 boards. So those two yeah. kind of down there have just been cleaning up these last few minutes yeah, of gameplay. Yeah, 10 boards, 14 minutes. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's a big boy down there, man. He gets a lot done. He does all the dirty work. And uh, Andre Washington, tough mid-range there right Great in the shot, face of the defender. Gets the drop. Now we got Elijah Holmes with the ball. He's going to bring it up for the Panthers. Panthers trying to work it around. Little pull-up jumper there. Unable to go for Josiah Nelson. Yeah, great defense there by the Sharks. They're not really going to let him kind of put anything into the lane that they've been doing earlier in this game. Yep, RJ Green getting the screen from CJ. Kicks out to Marco. Foul on the floor. Marco's three was an air ball. <laughs> uh, good thing that one didn't count. Yeah. That was by design. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't tip his cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tip his hand there. And now we got Soren Holmbro checking in out of Cold Spring, New York. He's a freshman guard, six foot three. First time we're seeing him. RJ steps to the lane to shoot his first of two potential shots here. Oh, I'm able to get that one to go. Again. Panthers looking to push. Brady Atkinson has it. Being guarded by Booker. Atkinson trying to use the screen. That was a very high set screen. And Marco able to get the steal. Get the steal. Nice job RJ there by Green Marco pushing it up to Andre Washington. Nice little layup there. That'll bring the Sharks up to 87 to 54. At this point in time, the Sharks uh, are just in clear control of this game. Yeah, we see uh, we see our man James ready to check in there. James Kamich getting some minutes. Let's go. Yeah, as well as uh, Joshua Rivera, the senior out of the Bronx for the Panthers, also ready to check in. And with that, that'll be a timeout for substitution. So in comes number 13, James Kamich, for number 15, C.J. Delancey. And then you said, yeah, number 20 there. Josh Rivera checking in for the Panthers. We have two minutes and 27 seconds left. But we still got Marco, so I'm sure he'll still throw up some shots. Yeah. Marco, uh, Marco's got 18 in this game, so let's see if he can get past that 20-point threshold. Let's see if he can do it right here. Takes it inside. Nice little layup. Unable to get that one to go. Marco doesn't drive very fast. He kind of is very cool, calm, collected and once he gets in the paint. Throws up those hook, those floaters. Yeah. You could tell he knew that one was off, too, because he was immediately fighting for his own rebound and getting yeah. in positioning. Yeah, it's very, like, Kyle Anderson-esque, the way <laughs> sure. he kind of approaches the paint. You love a good analogy. Yeah, Booker playing some strong defense here on Elijah Holmes. Takes the three. Off the back iron. James with the rebound. Put him on the stat sheet, Joe. <laughs> RJ Green pushing up in transition. Gets poked away there by Wesley Fulcher. And now Panthers in transition. Nice little layup there. That was Jalen Bartley, the junior guard out of Terrytown, which is where the Knicks practice facility is. There you go. Elijah Bailey also getting ready to check in here for the Sharks. RJ Green gets to Andre Washington, and they're going to call travel on that one. So the Knicks practice facility is all the way up in Terrytown, huh? Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always something that... Uh, free agents never like. I'm sure. That was rumored to be something that uh, Kevin Durant was not very uh, <laughs> That he'd have to practice in Terrytown? Yeah. I've been to Terrytown. It's lovely, but it's no New York City. It, it's a commute. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There's the Came most. out in the perimeter defending. Uh, able to force the miss there. Marco with the board. Trying to look for someone. Gets it to Bailey. <clears throat> Bailey being guarded by Solon Holmbro. Now we got RJ Green. Got a minute left here in this game. Receives the screen from Kamich to Marco. He's going to shoot that one. And there we go, there Marco, up to 21 points. Marco's deep. And immediately him and Coach are talking, too. So it appears that Coach Strickland wasn't thrilled that he threw that one up. 
No, I guess not, but he was able to get it to go. So Marco up to 21 points now, uh, along with six rebounds. And that'll be a foul there on the shot, so that'll send Holmes to the line. <laughs> and Marco gets taken out of the game now. Trey Booker checking in. The forced shot and then the fifth foul. Yep, and now we see Coach Strickland talking to Marco about what happened there on that, uh, that last shot that he took. It's fun to watch this interaction, especially knowing that he made that long shot too. Yeah, it definitely is. Now Marco's trying to explain his side here. This first free throw by uh, Holmes is no good. That gets 90 to 58. We have 47 seconds left to go, Joe. Yeah, that's right, Dan. Uh, LIU coming out, putting up a nice scoring performance here. <clears throat> nice rebound there by Trey as well. Yeah, and one one other stat that I uh, saw as well. Uh, this season was LIU. Oh, RJ Green, nice little finish there. I thought he might have slammed that one in, but no, he could have. Uh, this season should have. The, oh, Andre Washington, nice Just little steal. A Beautiful pass there to Green. <laughs> Just running up the score, but. This was LIU's first season since 2001-2002 in which they did not win a single non-conference game against Division I school. That is a bummer to hear. Now, that was the year that I was born in, 2002. I was born during that season. Which is so, wild. Yeah, so... 2002 is a good year, Joe. Yeah. Uh, gave, gave us me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agreed. So, another couple fouls there that's going to send... Uh, it's going to send RJ to the line here to shoot one and one. We yeah. have 21 seconds left to go. See so if RJ can get this first one up. This will end up being LIU's second highest scoring game of the year other than their game against Mount St. Vincent uh, when we were here as well. Uh, they have 95 points currently. Uh, last time against Mount St. Vincent, they had 111. Before that, the highest was uh, their last game against James Madison, which they scored 79. So... Uh, we're definitely seeing them putting up some points here the last couple games. Uh, RJ Green misses that one. And Perch will probably try and get another shot uh, before this game ends. So we have Josiah Nelson with the ball. Moving it around to Elijah Holmes. Looking for Jalen Bartley. Gets inside. A little hook shot is way off the mark. Elijah Bailey is swatted rebound. there by Andre. <clears throat> and with and that. will do it. We did it. The 2-10 and ten LIU Sharks, baby. Yep, and a convincing win here for the Sharks as they take it on 95-58. to 58. Uh, It was a great win here by the Sharks. Led by, led by Jacob Johnson, 22.3 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals and a block in 31 minutes. Marco with 21 points, 6 rebounds, and assists to steal. R.J. Green also 12 points, 9 assists, 7 rebounds, 3 steals. Uh, and C.J. Delancey with a double-double, 10 points, 12 rebounds, along with 2 blocks, 2 assists, and a steal. <coughs> Shek Nadai also had 7 points, 10 re rebounds off the bench in 14 minutes. And uh, Trey Booker, 7 rebounds, uh, along with 9 points, and an assist with 2 steals. And Andre Washington, 10 points, 3 assists, 1 rebound, 4 steals, and a block. Great game all around for the Sharks here as they defeat the SUNY Purchase Panthers, 95-58. Yeah, it was good to see a couple of those guys, those bench guys coming in and doing, like, getting good minutes. You know what I mean? The fact that uh, Trey Booker was able to come in, put 20 minutes in, and, you know, he plays big. I, I like the way he rebounded throughout that game. Elijah Bailey, as we talked about, is kind of our sixth man of the game. He played 18 minutes and was able to kind of spread the floor. Shek Nadai, in his 14 minutes, got those 10 rebounds like we talked about in the seven points. So I really did enjoy our, our lineup with the big men. It was good to see that. It was good for us to see CJ get a good game, and he had 27 minutes. And uh, as we had talked about kind of earlier in the game, though, our minutes leaders, RJ Green, Jacob Johnson, and Andre Washington, each had 30 minutes. And it looks like they're going to kind of be our leaders from here on out. Yeah, and only one score in double digits there for the Panthers, which is Mark. Mark Morgan hit 15 points on 5 of 12 shooting. Uh, but we also saw <coughs> Matthew, uh, Matthew Phillips and our guy Isaac Johnson both with nine. And then after that, nobody else had more than five for the Panthers. So uh, the Sharks were really able to play some great team defense there and get the win. 
And uh, I think that about wraps up for us, Dan. It works for me, Joe. This is a good game. I was excited for our guys. And even more importantly, I'm excited for you guys. Uh, yeah, our next game will be a really fun experience for you at the Barclays Center. How are you feeling about it? Very excited. Next Thursday, December 29th at the Barclays Center at 1 o'clock. Uh, we will be there. Base Network. Uh, this is Joe Simile. I'm joined by my good friend Dan Bowers. Yes, both Ryan Adams behind the camera. Uh, this has been the Base Network, the Big Apple Sports Entertainment Network. And uh, thank you, Ryan, for the thank camera. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, you did fantastic. And uh, have a happy and safe holidays, everyone. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, we're out. <laughs>